Hi threes and fours. This is the next book. It's called The Jelly Bean and the Unbreakable Egg. This is one of my favorite books and this is my kids' favorite books too. It says it was just before Easter on a Holiday Hill farm when five little chicks hatched in the back of the barn. First came Rose, then came Violet. Next came Lily, along, then Daffodil and Tulip, and then oh, something went wrong. One little chick, chick number six, couldn't get out of her egg. The shell was too thick. She tried every trick that a chick knew to do. She tried and she tried. The others tried too. They pecked it, they poked it, they gave it a whack. But that unbreakable egg just wouldn't crack. So they begged and they pleaded. They started to shout. But that unbreakable egg would not let her out. Then the farmer came in and took Chick Six away with the rest of the batch that hadn't hatched that day. The chicks followed the farmer past geese, goats, and cows, up the front steps, and into his house. Oop. There were eggs on the table, there were eggs on the chairs, there were dozens and dozens, but which egg was theirs? Then the five little chicks heard a very soft rapping and knew that chick six was on the table tapping. The chicks flapped and they flapped and they flew through the air. They flew to the table, but once they got there, their wings were so tired, their wings were so sore that the five little chicks couldn't flap anymore. One by one, the chicks dropped from the sky, right into the crocks filled with Easter egg dye. Now Rose was red and Violet was blue. Lily was orange, Tulip green through and through, and Daffodil was as yellow as a daffodil that grew. Inside her egg, Chick Six started to cry. The chicks followed the sound and found her nearby. They attacked from the front. They attacked from the back. They attacked one by one. They attacked in a pack. But the unbreakable egg still wouldn't crack. So they rolled it off the tabletop and watched it drop. They were sure it would crack when it smacked on the floor. But it didn't. It just bounced and bounced right out the front door. The sun was setting and the barnyard was calm. Mothers and babies were snuggling all over the farm. The chicks realized watching that egg roll along, they had been going about this entirely wrong. Instead of whacking and smacking and attacking that egg, they should have been hugging and holding and hatching that egg. So these birds of a feather all huddled together to keep Chick Six and her eggs nice and warm. Then it started to drizzle and the drops that fell made the dye from their feathers drip onto the shell. In the pattern the five different eggs colors created made that unbreakable egg look decorated. And on Easter morning, with the sun shining bright, the five little chicks woke up from the night. There were colorful pieces of shell on the ground. But where was Chick Six? They looked all around. Uh-oh. See all the pieces of the eggs? Then from out of the shadow stepped Chick, chick Number Six, and her feathers were wonderful, colorful mix. They were red and blue, yellow, orange, and green. So the chicks named Chick Six, ha, Jelly Bean. The chicks marched through the barnyard, proud as could be, with Jelly Bean in front, chirping, come on, come follow me. Every animal on the farm joined in the fun, and it was the best parade ever, the very best one. And there's the chick. You see, that egg wasn't unbreakable, not one little bit. 
The truth was that Egg didn't like to be hit. So when you have a problem that grows and grows, think of daffodil, tulip, lily, violet, and rose. And when you get stuck and don't know what to do, don't hit, don't shout, don't pout, don't beg. Remember, there's more than one way to crack an egg.